180 days of the year. I post them on my website. I'll explain that later. And yes, they're on there so you can watch them. They stay up there all year for the rest of time. Um, it's not pointed at you. It's literally just focused right on the marker board. So if we're doing something that day, you can go back and watch what we did and you can get notes and I have pictures of the notes and stuff. So it's for those who like need that visual aspect that when I see it here again, uh, it has closed captioning, it has it in different languages, like I'm pretty tech savvy that way. So keep that in mind. Um, now, this is your textbook. You're going to eventually get Monday or Tuesday. Or, do we have class Monday? Uh, or is it Labor Day? Uh, or is that the next week? Uh, That's the next week. All right, so Monday. Okay, welcome. So, so for geometry, um, I'm Mr. Ward, so you know. Um, uh, you can call me Mr. Ward, Ward, or Coach Ward. I have no problem with whatever one you want to call me. It won't offend me. If the administration's in here or they see me in the hall, call me Mr. Ward. They have this big pickle about calling Mr. or Mrs. Ms. kind of a thing, so just put that you know, in the front. Uh, but if you want to call me Ward, I have no problem with that. Um, I'm a model teacher, mentor teacher. What that means for you is that during the school year, I'll have random administrators come in and sit. I'll have random teachers come in and sit. They might even participate in a lesson that day. It's because of this position I've taken. They're not watching you, they're watching me and they're watching uh, how we do a lesson. Uh, it's just part of that model teacher. Uh, I'm assistant girls basketball, so if any of you girls want to go out for basketball, love of God, please do. <laughs> any girls going out for basketball. So if you want to go out, please do. And then uh, I'm a student council leader, so at some point if you want to run for student council at the end of the year, because we've already had elections last year, but if you want to go out for next year, I'll get you on the ballot and you can go kind of whatever position you want, but I'm a student council leader. So. Um, Background, so you know a little bit more about myself. I graduated from Ventura, literally just down the road, in 2001. Yeah, I'm really old. Uh, I graduated in 2001 and went to Iowa State. Graduated in 2006 with a minor in psychology and a uh, major in uh, mathematics. So, uh, but yeah, so that's a little bit about myself. I'm coaching certified. I've literally coached every sport except for cheerleading. Obviously, I've never done cheerleading, but I haven't done wrestling. I know nothing about wrestling because Ventura didn't have it. And I've never coached soccer, but I love soccer. It's one of my favorite sports. So, uh, but I never coached it. So there you go. That's a little bit about myself. I literally coached every other sport. Um, classroom materials. These are the non-negotiables. When you walk in this room, these are the things you have to have with you. Now, obviously not day one, but you know when we come back. So you need a pencil, not a pen, unless you have one of those pens you can erase and make fixes. Because we make mistakes. I make mistakes. You got to be able to fix it. Um, textbook with book cover. You will eventually get a book on Monday. So for geometry, you guys are gonna be like right here. Uh, so it'll say book covers, uh, we're doing a book check on Monday, and then uh, the due dates are over here, you can even see the example over there. Um, so you'll get books, they're individually numbered, we even have an online version of them. So you're going to get both, you're going to get physical copy and the online, because some people like don't have a watcher of internet at home, you have the physical copy, you can take that with you. So, um, when you come to class, you can just bring the online version of your Chromebook, I'm totally fine with that, because we have internet here, it's kind of nice. And it's more convenient than carrying that 20 pound book with you. I understand that. Some people just like to leave it in a locker and they, they forget about it until the end of the year. I'm fine with that too. Um, notebook. You do need paper. You cannot come in here and just watch the marker board. You have to be participating, writing notes. Because you cannot honestly memorize everything we're going to do. Because I do vocabulary. We do other things. And yes, those are on the test. So you do have to take notes. I expect you to take notes every single day you're in here. And no, you cannot take notes on a computer. Math doesn't work that way. You have to actually get dirty and use a pencil or a pen. Okay? Uh, calculator, you do need a calculator. I prefer this one. This is my go-to one. It's like $8 at Target and Walmart right now. I have 10 of them in the back there, and like there's this weird caddy back there. It's back there. Uh, I have 10. There's more than 10 of you in here. You'll need a calculator. It's math class. Duh. You need something to calculate. And then a uh, Chromebook. Because there's days I'll have you go online and research stuff. You do need a Chromebook. We're going to go look up some stuff. So bring it every single day. Because if you have your online version, just have your Chromebook. If you don't need that, just use your Chromebook. Access the online website. But the online version we might get like later next week. It may not be right away. Because I'm going to be hot and heavy right away. But um, Textbook itself. Uh, it's entitled Geometry. Here it is. It's super thick and girthy. It's big. It's you know two, three inches thick. It weighs 20 pounds. It's ridiculously heavy. Um, it costs $124, according to Amazon, like five days ago, right? Uh, that's expensive. Don't lose it. Don't break it. Don't just throw up your locker because it's so big and heavy, it literally will break. It, pages will fall out, and now you own the money. And if you have to replace it, you have to do it then and there. I don't wait till that is. You're, you're replacing it. I'm ordering it. You have to buy it. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. So, 
Okay, Mr. Warren, hi, you're geometry, right? Yep. Okay, good, you're in the right one hour. All right, uh, the textbook, again, we're gonna get on Monday. It's 974 pages. It's big, it's thick. Um, so keep that in mind. I, it's got 13 chapters. I expect all those chapters to be there. It's not Dead Poet Society with Robin Williams in that movie. Don't worry about the chapters, leave them in there. Um, these are the chapters you'd expect to cover. Like that's like semester one and semester two. I don't go in order, we kind of bounce around a little bit. I don't do every section. I only do the sections we need to set the standards. But that's kind of the chapters you should expect, like semester one, semester two kind of thing. Calculators, here they are. That's like a $5 one at Target. It's perfect, look at it. It's got a bunch of fancy buttons on it. Cool, it's $5, that's awesome. That's one I buy. Not this monstrosity. That's a TI-89 Platinum. You can't even use this in high school or college. They ban it. It's $200, that's stupid. Don't go buy that thing. That's dumb. For $200, you could buy a used iPad, download the Texas Instrument app on it, that will do everything this thing will do, but it's an iPad. So that's like dumb, don't do that. Um, the reason why you can't even use these in college, because it literally has a keyboard behind this thing that you can type in the word solve, type in your math problem, and it'll just solve it for you. Or websites can do that if you just have a little bit of common sense and you research a website. Um, this little $10 thing from Target Walmart, perfect. I expect this one, it's $8 right now. It's literally half off at Target Mall. Just buy that thing. Go get it. Um, this monstrosity is what you use for Calc 1 in college calculus. They expect you to buy that thing in Calc if you're in college level calculus. It's like $140. It's ridiculous. Don't buy that right now. Don't do it. Just buy the cheap ones. Uh, expectations. Just so you get to know. Here's what I expect. I expect to be quiet. Now right now it's like pin drop quiet in here and that's to me that's super unnerving. Um, but I do expect to be quiet because some people like need it like dead quiet to learn something. Some people like it to be lively, a little bit of conversations, we talk about some stuff. But if it's a day where we're struggling, you gotta you gotta be at that level where we can ever we can hear. Because if you're in the back and you're already having problems hearing me and you can hardly see the board because you're trying to shuffle around other people and it's something you don't understand, that's just building a frustration level. So it's gotta be somewhat quiet. Respect your classmates. I don't care if you have a personal beef or problem with somebody in this room. Leave the drama out of this room. I understand you have a life outside this room. I understand that. You have many things going on. You have a real life. This is like not even a percent of it. But when you walk in here, forget about all your troubles. Forget about the drama. You're in here. Get to learn some stuff. It could be math. It could be something else. But you get to at least learn something and relax for once. Um, take responsibility and challenge yourself. These are, these are my two biggest ones. You know, take pride in learning something. You know, I actually enjoyed high school. I know that's crazy, that I'm a teacher, yeah, you get the idea, but I actually like learning stuff. I still do. Like, if it's something new, it's like, it intrigues me enough, I want to know about it. I'm gonna go research it, I'm gonna figure it out. I challenge myself. I may not learn it the first time. I may not learn it the second or third time, but eventually I'll kind of figure out the concept, and that's what I expect to do. Like, persevere enough that you can at least try and ask the appropriate questions, you can learn. You've got to be participating. You can't just watch me up here, watch somebody else do something, because I'll always have you guys up here on the work board, and expect to learn it. You have to like actively participate in this process. So challenge yourself, because it may not be easy. It's high school math, right? I don't expect it easy, but I expect you to at least try and you know ask those questions so you can get pieces of it figured out, and maybe we can you know figure it out together. Now, Mr. Hex points. You can see these posters everywhere in the school over here. These things. It's those core values, right? You gotta be here, be on time. It's literally six period. You should not be late to six period. Now, other than you know, ignoring that fact. But you know, on you know Monday, right? If you walk in here a minute after that bell rings, you owe me ten minute detention. Let's say you're in the bathroom for twenty minutes, and then you walk in here. Guess what? You owe me twenty minutes plus ten minutes detention now, because you missed class. Now you have to redo it. So, don't be late. You have to be here, be on time. This is not your therapy session time. This is not your bathroom time. This is math class. Be here, be on time. Uh, do the right thing when you walk in. What, you, what is your purpose when you walk in this room? Right? Just to learn something. I don't know if it's math or something, but you know, you're here for that purpose. You know that I want to learn something today. We're going to explore something. Um, and do your best, right? I don't expect you to be perfect. I'm not perfect by any means. But I want you to try to. You know, we can have fun. I like lively conversations here. I like when there's banter going back and forth and we're picking on each other, but are we doing the right thing? Are we learning something? That's what I expect. And then be yourself. Never, never shy away from that. Be yourself every single day. If you're quirky and 
kind of goofy and stuff. Eat that person. I like that. It's, it's a lively classroom. But remember, you got to still respect others. Don't be that, don't be that person that's going to cause drama. Okay? You can be lively, you can have fun, but there's a limit to when you're starting to be distracted. So keep that in mind. Okay. Any questions up to this point? Sorry, I'm talking a lot really fast. All right. You guys are really quiet. It's crazy. Man. All right. Uh, disruptive behavior. If you're going to be that class clown, you want to cause drama, you're not going to be in here, I'm going to send you somewhere else where you can discuss your problem or situation with somebody that can correctly handle that, right? Because I know there's lots of things going on. You have a life outside this room, you may not, you may need to talk to somebody. I'll get you to their proper channels. Maybe it's uh, an advisor, maybe it's our counselor. But remember, this room is not your counseling section. Don't make it a habit to be it. It's we're here to learn something. I know there's things that go on. It, I can't control that. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you need to talk to me, do not be afraid to ask about that. Um, homework, expect to be completed. So uh, you can see that over there. If I assign, like, let's say I do the book cover and I say it's due Thursday. It's due Thursday when you walk in here. Don't be like, oh, word, I don't have it done. I'm going to have it done by the end of the day. No, it's due when you walk in here Thursday. So keep that in mind. Because I usually give you multiple days to get done. It's not like I assign something today and it's due tomorrow. That's not practical. You have things outside of this school that you have to do. You have a real world, you have a real life outside of this room. So I try to give you at least a couple days, and plus I give you time in class to work on it with me so you can ask me questions. Why would I want to send you home to work on homework and your parents don't know how to do it in the first place? I want you to meet here so you can ask me questions. You can work together because that's, that's where things happen and we can learn. Uh, you will be assigned a textbook. They're individually numbered. You cannot fake that. They're individually numbered. Uh, you will have a signature. Yes, you will have a senior arrangement. Um, it will change a lot. But if there's like a certain situation, like you need to be in the front, let me know that. If you if you don't want to be in the front, you want to be more towards back, I can respect that. Unless it becomes like you're just trying to escape and you want to just sit behind somebody so you don't have to answer or anything. Because I'm going to pick on you at some point. Cell phones, iPods. Yeah, I just dated myself with iPods. But cell phones, they got to be in the back caddy. Okay? So day one when you walk in here, when you walk in, just drop in that caddy that's that numbered blue thing back there. You have to put it in there. Don't lie to me. Drop it in there. Okay? Um, because they're distractions. When we're in here, we're in here for a purpose. We're learning not so you can Snapchat your friends. And so you can be on you know, Facebook and Twitter and whatever you're doing. So drop it in there. If your smartwatch becomes an issue, it becomes a distraction for you, put it in the caddy. If you're going to lie to me, and it's going to be in your pocket. It's mine and you're not getting it back. So don't lie to me about that. Put it in the back caddy for at least one period. Forget about it. Un disconnect for a little bit. It's causing radiation anyways. Get it off of your person. Um, disabilities, challenges. You've got to let me know that. Um, just so you know, I'm really bad of hearing. That's why I talk really loud. No joke. Like, I have really bad hearing. So if you have a disability, you have to let me know that. Nothing's worse than November. We're having, like, our first parent-teacher conference. I don't know. It's brown November time. And your mom or dad or guardian, whoever it is, is like, well, Johnny, you really can't hear the board right now. Or you can't, you know, I can't hear you or can't see you. Thanks, Johnny, for throwing me under the bus. You couldn't see the board for six, seven weeks? And your mom or dad had to tell me that? you got to tell me that. I need to know that. So why it makes sense that you were not getting the homework or the, you know, everything done because you couldn't even see me doing it in the first place. Uh, hopefully the videos will take care of that. But I'm saying, like, you have to let me know of those situations. Uh, Sheen, it's not tolerated. I'm not a moron. I know there's websites called Slater and other fancy things out there that can do one for you. I'm not a moron. I can Google things. But there is there is a rhyme and reason to those websites. It's nice to have a website you can check your answer. I can appreciate that. I can see if I'm doing it right. But if you're just solely using websites like that to do your homework, what are you learning? You're not learning anything. You're not even attempting to apply math or to apply like cognitive you know, stress on yourself to learn something. Cheating is not tolerated. I don't want a team zero. So I want you doing your homework and five other people copying it. Because you're not learning. I can see that immediately when we get to our first test. You got 100% on all your homework, and oh, you got to a test and you scored a 50%. You're, you've you been cheating. Because the homework that we've done are the test questions. I literally just pulled a question and put it on the test. That's what I do. I don't make up anything new. So. You've got to be doing your homework and actively trying. Too much to handle, too bad, it's so sad. Life's tough, wear a helmet. Figure it out. Uh, homework. Two to three assignments a week. Figure about two, at minimum two. 
Um, 10 to 25 pounds, we'll do a lot of handouts and worksheets. They're on the website. I'll give you a physical copy, but I have a website that has all of them on there. I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, late work policies, uh, homework can be redone. So what I mean by that, let's say we're doing a homework assignment that's worth 20 points. And you score 11. You're like, God, I failed that one. I didn't even do it. I didn't even do it right. I didn't know what I was doing. Go home, make fixes, correct it, turn it back in, and regret it. And you get it back up to 20 again. I'd rather have you know and learn something then worry about a stupid grade in here. Grades are just letters of the alphabet. They mean nothing to me. I'd rather have you learn something and not worry about a grade. That's why I like you to review stuff. Um, this is new. This is not my policy. This is the school policy, the high school policy. I'm not just being that guy. I do not accept late work after 10 days. 10 days. 10 days of it being late. Like it's due, let's say that assignment over there is due Thursday. 10 days after Thursday. 10 calendar days. You cannot turn it in anymore. It's a zero forever. It's not like, oh, I'm going to wait till the end of the midterm. I'm going to wait till the end of the quarter. No, it's 10 days or it's forever a zero. That is a new policy. It's not mine. It is now the school-wide policy. Keep that in mind. This will wreck people. It's whatever comes sooner, 10 days or the quarter or the midterm, whatever comes sooner. So keep that in mind. Um, if your homework is late one day, it's 15% off. If it's two days late, it's 30% off. You're already losing points right there for not turning it in. But after 10 days, it's zero forever. Uh, if it's if your homework's already two days late, I probably already called and emailed your parent. Yeah, I'm that guy. I talked to your parents. Like, hey, Johnny's not turning in his homework. I don't want to get it done. And now you have to deal with your parents on top of me. And I will run you into the ground until you turn it in. All right, test quizzes. You can always retake a test once. Every test, one time. It will not be the exact same test. I redo the test. I just pick a new problem. It's the same type, but just a new problem. You can always retake it once, and you get the better of the two scores. So it's a no-risk gamble. Why? Because I don't care about grade. I want you to learn something. It's not, no one's perfect. You might have a bad day. You get to retake it. But to do a retake, you have to come in uh, before or after school with me, and we go over the problems you missed. That way you're not going to make the same mistake. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's got to be within like a week or so of me handing back that test to you. So, because uh, if it's too far, you heard you from that, and you don't know how to do it anyway. Uh, quizzes cannot be retaken, so if we do a pop quiz, you cannot retake that stuff. A pop quiz is what you know that day. So if I notice a lot of people are not paying attention, they're starting to zone out, we're doing a pop quiz that day. Good luck to you. It's on the grade book. It forever stays there. So you've got to be in here for the right reason. You have to be paying attention. You cannot just take a day or two off. You have to be on the ball. Uh, pop quizzes per unit. Units, four or five sections. There's a pop quiz probably in there somewhere. Okay, question. I'm not that person that does like a five point checkup every single day. I don't do that. I do homework, I do lively conversations. I figure you're trying to learn every single day. Okay. Homework uh, grades, here they are 90s or A's, 80s or B's, 70s or C's. You get the idea. Anything below 60s and F. To figure out that, you take your score you got, divided by the total score it could have been, and that gives you why the percent for that. Uh, semesters uh, is a 40 40 20 rule. First quarter is 40% of your grade, 40% of your grade is second quarter, 20% is semester test. Yes, you're in high school, we do semester test in every single class, including band and vocal, there's a semester test. Keep that in mind. It's cumulative, it's over the entire semester. I'll be reviewed for five days leading up to it. By the time I'm done spoon feeding you how to do every problem on there, it'll be easy for you. Every person that's taking my semester test says that they're easy because I, we literally review so much leading up to it that you cannot possibly get it wrong unless you're actively trying to get it wrong. Make sense? I'm trying not to scare you. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. Remember, I don't need to worry about your grade. I mean, you guess you learn something. Grade book has three categories, homework, tests, and participation. Notice, 55% of your grade is based on homework. We spend the most time on homework, the most of your grade is homework. Ooh. Quizzes are 40% of your grade because it's still important. Tests. And participation is literally just coming here to the class and do you have your thing with you? Because there are certain days I'll be like, hey, I want to see your book today. Do you have your book? Boom, you get 10 points. It's that easy. Are you coming to class with everything you need? All right. Questions at all about all of that? Sorry, I talked really fast and I probably didn't mean to scare you. But... Are we good? Okay, let's talk about the website because we have about like five minutes here. Um, I have a website. You can see my links up here, mrward.org or jhvmath.com. They're my personal websites. They're nothing to do with the school. They're mine. I spend a lot of money and time on them.
There is no ads. I do not collect any revenue from them at all. Nothing. Because they're for one purpose. They're for you to help you with your education. Um, I Seriously, I spend a lot of time in my own. Room. I don't even want to tell you how much money I spent on this website. On this website. So, let me show you your homework. Uh, so, this is my website. So, if you type in, I have a bunch of different addresses to do, but they all come back to this. Uh, it's pretty. It's powered by Squarespace. Uh, you can scroll through. It's got nice, pretty pictures and everything. So you can see the daily lessons. So today's lessons are already there. I already posted them. I just don't have the video because I'm still recording it. Uh, but you can see you got consumer, got algebra one. Here's your geometry. So if you click the word geometry, you can click the picture. If you click the homework, it'll take you to that link for that for that day. This is today's lessons. I always post today's lessons there. It has the outline of what we're talking about today. Um, so let's say I want to click on the picture here. It'll take you to that particular day, um, what the notes were that day. So it'll have the outline, it'll have a picture of the notes itself. Let's see if the internet will catch up with what I'm clicking on. Love of God, internet just work. Oh, this is painful. Just open. Just open. <laughs> okay. And if you click on it, it'll take you to uh, uh, the student page for that. It'll have the notes. It'll basically have everything I've talked about. It'll have the PowerPoint with the PowerPoint cycles. I put every PowerPoint there so you can see them. They'll stay there for the rest of time. Uh, the video will be right underneath it. The video is posted to YouTube, and I do not collect any revenue or ads on those. Um, so the video will be there. It's in 1080p. You can go full screen. It's got a nice roadie mic on it. It does closed captioning, so you can literally read what I'm saying. It puts it in multiple languages if you need it in a different language. Um, but they'll be there for the rest of the time. If you scroll up on my website, you can scroll up. If it'll work, give us God what's happening there right now. This is painful. This is painful. All right. Nothing right now. Let's see. Let's uh, whatever. Uh, but at the top, there's links where it says. Um, it says daily lessons. That's where if you click daily lessons, it'll have a little drop down menu. You can click geometry. It'll have every lesson. They'll be in order. This thing actually works. It'll show every day, every video, all 180 days of the year. I'll have all 180 videos there. They'll be individually dated so you know what date it was. So if you're gone, the reason why I do this is if you're gone sick, you're at a sporting event, you can literally watch all 40 minutes of what we did that class. It's there. It's really nice quality. It's like if you see it, it's zoomed in. There, you're not missing. You can you can see a fly on the wall. It's super zoomed. Uh, I do that every single day of the year, so you can watch it over. Like I didn't really get what he did that day. You can go back and watch it. It's there for the rest of the time. I have every year back to 2015, all 180 days, all the way back. You can go back and see the archive of older days. So you can go back. Maybe you didn't get how I taught it that day. You can go back to another year and see how I taught the same thing. Yeah, that must be out for right now. Um, but it's nice and pretty. It works as long as I'm on the internet. Clearly, I'm not. Right now. So, but there's your links. I post everything there. Now, I also post JMC lesson planners. You can see what we did that day. But the website's nice. It's clean. You can see worksheets. You can see pictures. I even take pictures of the notes. So if you have really good penmanship, I'll take a picture of your notes and I post that to the website. That way, if you're gone, you get a picture of some of these notes that they literally took that day. So instead of watching the video, you can just see that note. Now, that doesn't give you the excuse to be like, well, I'm not going to take notes anymore. You can just get them from the website. That's not what it's there for. It's there for the people that were not there or need to watch the video again. It's not so you can go, well, I don't need to do anything anymore. I can just watch more. That's not how it works. Questions? Okay. Again, use the website. I seriously spent a ton of time and money on that so that you guys have something as a resource to go back. Because nothing's worse than like, well, you missed last Tuesday. Good luck to you. That's not fair. So I post those videos online. And I think they're good quality. They sound good. They look good. Because that camera is really nice. Okay. What is it? Period 7? Go to Period 7 class. The following students please come to the office. Tyler Harm, Brady Harm, Casey Brown, Layla Baker, Alexis Paganel, Cole E. House, Patrick Carew, Abby Coco, Caitlin Robinson, and Manny Hine. Also, Shelby Hawk.
killing these small ones. Why isn't the internet working?